Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We are gonna be painting our nails today for another Nail It With Me. I am still using the Dimension Nails Garlic Base Coat. I think this might be one of my favorite base coats. I do really enjoy this one. For polish, I'm gonna do this Morgan Taylor. This is one of my absolute favorite polishes and it's the only Morgan Taylor that I own. I would absolutely love more of them I just don't really see them around um, it's just not something that I look for I guess but this is look at you Pinkachu and it is a very very bright 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 pink and I was looking at some old videos to film some videos for this year and I saw this on my nails and I was like oh gosh I miss that color it's beautiful and I want to put it on again so that is what polish we will be using and then sadly I am on my last wet and wild hard as ice this is my absolute favorite top coat they discontinued it and wet and wild is no longer cruelty free so I'm not <laughs> using this but I figured I would start out the year with my last bottle I'm really kind of upset about it but this year I will be doing a lot of top coat tests I asked over on Instagram what some of your favorite top coats were and a lot a lot a lot of you gave me answers so I have about six I think that I'm gonna try this year so we will see if I find my favorite top coat they are all pretty much indie brands um, but yeah we are gonna see if I can find my favorite top coat because I'm so sad that this is my last bottle so I already did the um, filing. My nails were really, really, really annoying and they're kind of like all different lengths. If you can tell, this one broke pretty badly so I'm still waiting on it to grow out. This one is almost completely grown out and then these two are growing like freaking weeds. So I'm just all over the place with my nails. But yes, I filed them earlier because it was driving me nuts but I still need to do some cuticle remover. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, we are ready for paint finally you guys know I hate the maintenance part of manicures it's like literally the bane of my fucking existence but yeah face coat my nails are a little yellow for some reason I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that I did just do a peel off base coat um, gel manicure for this past week just because um, I had the breakage and I was trying not to mess with my nails and just keep them protected um, so maybe that kind of yellowed them a little bit usually this base coat with garlic doesn't give them much yellowing so this is the first nail it with me of the year which is craziness um, yeah that's just crazy I feel a lot better already like so this is my fourth video that I'm kind of pre-filming for my February comeback um, and I'm feeling a lot better about my YouTube this year I'm hoping to stay ahead of things and not miss any uploads not um, like I won't it's not like I won't be taking time off that's actually one of my goals is to be more realistic with my time this year and like I know I don't want to be filming and editing and all this stuff when we're on vacations or like long weekends and things so I think I'm just gonna be more realistic about just blocking that time off and just not posting versus putting all the stress on myself because if you don't do um, YouTube videos you probably don't know but like you have to film edit and then post and if you want to do that for time when you're gonna be gone then you have to double that 
So you're like pre-filming and editing and posting even more things. <laughs> um, and so it just gets to be quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I think I just want to be more realistic with my time this year. So yes, I am basically just trying to be more realistic with my time and know that if I'm putting on vacation then I'm just not posting that week instead of like putting it on there and being like, oh, I'm feeling bad because I thought I was going to post. I'm just trying to not set myself up for failure. So we will be halfway through February by the time I post this, but did any of you make any goals for the new year or any kind of things that you want to focus on? I think people are moving away from resolutions necessarily, but it's always good to have something kind of new and different to do each year. My word this year and my kind of focus is going to be movement and being more realistic, like I said. I want to be getting more steps in. I got a Garmin last, I think it was June, and it really showed me how many steps I'm not getting. So one of my goals is to just have more movement in general. Um, we both work from home and we both work at a desk and then I paint my nails and I edit and everything is pretty much sitting. So I did order one of those like under the desk treadmills where you like use a standing desk and walk while you work and that has been helping a lot. I've been getting anywhere from three to like 5,000 more steps a day uh, just by using that for 30 minutes to an hour and it's been really really helpful so that's already happening what else am I trying to do this year I did make like a little tracker so I can track if I did a workout a walk or um, like a walk on the treadmill or um, a yoga so I'm just trying to do something every day or most days of the week. It doesn't have to be every day because I don't really feel like that's incredibly realistic. Just with life and everything, it's like I know I won't be able to do something every single day. Sometimes I'm just going to be not, not feeling it and I think that that's okay as long as I'm a little bit more consistent. As long as I'm doing most days and I'm trying. <laughs> So I have a little tracker for my movement and then like I said just being more realistic a lot of the times I will post um, or I will like plan to film all day on like a Sunday like five videos in one day and I get through sometimes like two or three of them and then I get tired or the boyfriend wants to do something or I just want to kind of like enjoy some relaxing time because it is the weekend and I do have a Monday through Friday job and I just don't and then I feel bad like again setting myself up for failure so want to be more realistic about probably no more than two videos um, a weekend and then fill in videos like this is a Friday um, and it's really easy for me to get off work and kind of paint my nails just keeping a more realistic schedule and since I'm taking this month off as in taking off January I'm um, technically gonna be at least two weeks if not a month ahead on most videos obviously like seasonal videos I'll try to um, kind of post like more recent just because like polishes come out or something like that but in theory I will be about a month ahead hopefully on videos which will make it a lot easier if I'm not really feeling filming or if we want to change our plans a little bit. I can go ahead and do that because um, I've made time in my schedule. So I think that might be a thing that I do every year is take off January to try to get ahead for the year and just not post in January on YouTube. For some reason, this polish always is kind of three coats for me. I think it's just like I don't really know I just don't do really thick coats 
and it's kind of like a neon so it has a weird formula and I, there's just like a little bit of patchiness so I always do three coats on this one but yes comment down below if you have any goals this year I think it's always good to just kind of reflect on the past year or years past and see what you want to do to change and be a little bit different I'm still learning my setup with the camera now that I'm using a camera to film so just get used to me kind of changing things and videos looking different I'm still trying to figure out settings and the camera placement and all of that so bear with me please I love this color so much I think maybe this bottle might need some thinner I bought some thinner which accidentally had acetone in it. I didn't know that. Um, so I never use it and I, I just got rid of it, but I really do need to find some thinner. I might take a trip to Sally Beauty Supply soon because I really need, I'm gonna need some, that's where I get my polish remover, so I'm gonna need my polish remover. I'll probably go ahead and grab a thing of acetone while I'm there. And um, maybe I could take you guys along as like a little shop with me video. That could be fun. Okay, so hopefully you can see there's just some patches in certain places. So I definitely do three coats on this one. It just needs it. I don't, I don't know how else to, to say that. It's a gorgeous color, but it is a very bright neon pink. And I think I forget that some neons need um, a little bit more work. I'm gonna do a little cleanup while I wait for the second coat to dry. Um, I just don't like to just be sitting. I like to attempt to do something. No, I'm out of acetone. Oh, let me see if I can get my acetone without messing up my nails. All right, I've done it. That is one thing that I have talked about a lot, actually. Make sure you have all of your things before you paint your nails. Go to the bathroom, get your hair out of your face, all of those things. And I didn't even do it that time. We actually have some friends coming over tomorrow from out of town. They are gonna stay over. We are gonna have brunch. Um, and then we are going to a hockey game. We have really been enjoying the hockey games. They're super fun. And the last game that we went to was really, really, really good. There was lots of goals and lots of fights because the one team was losing. And it was the teddy bear toss. So everyone that comes to the game brings a teddy bear. And then you like throw it on the ice and then they donate it so that's really nice and the one that we went to was actually just after the kentucky tornadoes in the like midwest area and so they um said specifically for that teddy bear toss that they were going to be donated to a lot of the families that lost a bunch of their stuff so that was kind of um it felt good to know that it was going to like some local families in the midwest area I definitely need thinner. This polish has thickened a lot since the last time I have used it. Okay, more cleanup. This polish is definitely gotten thick. Way, way thick. Um, don't remember it being like this, so I will probably make it a priority. Maybe, honestly, Sunday. Um, after our friends leave to find some polish thinner and um, 
so I'm kind of like a shop with me. I do know I'm going to be doing at least one polish order soon, so maybe it'll be like a mix of in-person shopping and then online shopping. Okay, this is where the magic happens, the top coat. <laughs> I always feel like if a manicure is like kind of looking a little, a little not great, uh, the top coat can typically pull it out. Not always. Sometimes the top coat ruins it, but I've used this polish before, so I'm hoping the top coat just kind of helps it out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and oh, gosh, try to get more comfortable in this chair. Go ahead and add top coat and be very happy with my bright ass pink manicure. All right, here is the finished manicure. I'm not gonna lie, there is a high possibility that I might redo these tomorrow morning before everyone gets here. I just don't love it. I don't know, I'm so sad. I love this polish. It's just not turning out how I wanted it. Um, yeah, it's just not turning out exactly how I wanted it, but hopefully I'll be able to use it again. I'll get some thinner. I will figure out my setup, making it a little bit easier to film. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just can't, I can't tell. Sometimes under the lights too, it's just like I can't get a full look at everything. But yes, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your goals and such for the new year. Let me know if you painted your nails or what is on your nails now. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.